Good morning, YouTube. Look at where we're at. <laughs> the Sierras. Finally, this trip has come upon us. We're getting ready to do uh, two nights, three days in uh, the back country along uh, the John Muir Wilderness. I just parked at the trailhead. I got here at 5.30 this morning. Told the boys I wouldn't be here till 7.30ish. So I'm gonna go see if I can find them at the campground and wake them up, introduce them to you. Adam, Kimberly, K6ARK, Kevin, W6RAP, Jeff, AA6A, uh, Tim, K6TW, a couple others. Uh, we're about 9,300 feet right now. Already gonna huff and a puff, uh, 40 pounds. Put on scale, it's 39 and some change. Make sure I got my water, cause uh, yeah, there it is. That's with one liter of water. Um, plenty of water is raging off behind me. So I've got the pump, we got the platypus. I'll fill it up when we get to camp. I don't know what elevation camp's gonna be, probably close to 11,000, uh, but this is gonna be a fun one. Hopefully a couple virgin peaks, unactivated. So let's go find the guys at camp. All right, we got people camping around us. We're at the uh, North Lake Campground. Hopefully you can hear me, but uh, Paiute Pass. We're gonna go ahead and head up a trail. We're not with the group yet. I don't know where the heck they're at. Um, I was told they're at the North Lake Campground number nine. And uh, unfortunately I woke somebody up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up the trail, see if we get some elevation, then maybe try them on Simplex, see what happens. And then I'll just wait for them. But sitting here by the campground on all this water, um, too many mosquitoes. That, and I got 40 pounds. So I want to get to get to walk in a little bit because they're probably going to beat me. Adam says he's only doing 20 pounds. How about that? But anyways, that's the plan. So let's do this. Well, we got our first water crossing. See if we can find a place where we get our feet too wet. Wet feet sucked. All right. Oh, it looks sketchy. All right, we made it. I held my big butt. We'll see if the boys figure that one out or not. We'll see. <clears throat> now we gotta make our way through the jungle. All right, that's how you do a water crossing with dry feet. You look up and downstream, even just a little bit, look for some way to cross. Especially on a trail like this, you're not the first one that's come across it. So look for matted down bushes and little trails up and downstream and you might get lucky like I did. I'd for sure have wet feet for a lion's share of the park that's probably six to 10 inches in some places. Uh, so I don't, I have dry feet today and I'm gonna try to keep it that way. All right, so finally got a hold of Kevin and Adam <laughs> I went and woke up the people in camp site 9, only to find out obviously it wasn't Kevin. Kevin all then went back down into Bishop and they got a hotel for the night. A hotel. Either they're going to camp at elevation and uh, kind of get acclimated. So uh, anyways, I got them on uh, VHF. Good to leave it on. They, you know, everybody kind of, we all know, 5-2 is where it's at. Uh, they're driving up right now. They're well behind me. Uh, so I'll probably be setting up the camp spot and waiting on them. But that's okay because uh, I'm probably the big boy out of them all. So uh, I get to take my time and not, not kill myself, especially right now, I'm thinking about 9,800 feet right where I'm at and I got about three miles to go. So back to enjoying this trail, this is just, this is epic. I wish I could do these kind of trails every day because uh, this defines hiking for me. I mean, there's water, there's these rocks, it's a defined trail and mosquitoes, but I'll tell you about that later on. Um, but I'm expecting to bump into wildlife. I had a bunch of uh, uh, animals go by, uh, some guys riding horses and pulling s and mules and stuff. And uh, you know, this is what soda's about, man. Getting out and exploring this place and, uh, and places just like it. And uh, God's country for sure. I just, I'm digging it. Anyways, back to the trail. Down there is the trail and the parking lot, trailhead and parking lot. Of course, into the sun a little bit. Well, these grooves, these grooves, the big old boulders and avalanches coming off of that rock mountain. Kind of crazy, and then that—that's one of the sun. That's one of the peaks out here. Forget the name; it's on my phone. Um, we're going up this valley right here. We're zigzagging up, and this would be another one over here. Another peak on this side, 
and we're gonna shoot up over the top of that little valley right there. So let's go. They're all down there right now somewhere. Way down there. Copy that. I stopped early, taking a little power bar break and uh, got a little uh, train of animals coming up, so I'm gonna let them pass. Sounds good, yeah, we found the footbridge to the, to the right. There's a nice solid log crossing. Drive feet are important. Yeah, that's all right. I'll step to the side and let you pass. <laughs> Get a little video, you guys. It's awesome. Huh? Good morning. Is this the, the lift in Uber for the, the pass? <laughs> for the people that don't want to walk it? I know, huh? I don't even know about it until I park down there. That's right, for sure. Okay. You too. Thank you. Heading, up. Heading up. Yeah, we'll be up there till Sunday. Maybe we'll see you. Have a good one. Beautiful animals. That's legit right there. Gotta give me a horse. Hey, Steve. Whiskey Golf Zero Alpha Tango. You got goats, but look at this, man. Holy moly. All I need is one. Imagine having that many. <laughs> I can imagine the vet bill. That's cool. That right there's cool. All right, power bar's down. And uh, we'll let them get a little bit ahead while I rest my feet and get going, but kind of jealous. I mean, I got to do it the hard way, of course, knowing me, but that's cool. Crystal clear this water is. Man, <clears throat> we're gonna go up over here. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pound the rest of this water and then we're gonna pump more, fill her up. Got a beautiful spot for it. Nice time to take a break. Nice little shade. Sweet. Is a ranger hut. Cool. Adam and the guys are probably about 100 yards ahead of us. camp there's a big enough area like a group hangout right there we're literally right on the lake it's pretty epic and then uh, that spot this spot there's a spot over there a couple right here and uh, I'm spent I, I am hungry uh, the elevation played its toll the last little bit it's 1237 so five hours or so to hike 6.31 miles and the elevation right now is 11,325 feet. That's where we're at. Elevation gain through the hike is 2,167 feet. 
and uh, I'll put the map up. I'll, I'll screenshot it once I'm done talking. And I'll put the map up on this video. But I'm gonna try the bivy and the Epsilon tarp. She's set up right here. The wind's blowing this way off the lake, so I wanna make sure that the tarp is going like this to block the wind. And hopefully, I actually hope the wind kind of stays up a little bit, kind of keep the bugs away. But I'm expecting bugs. I'm expecting skeeters. So we're like in this giant bowl that was probably carved out by a glacier. I mean, just look around me. This is just phenomenal. Uh, I can't remember if it's this one or over here, but one of these peaks is the one of the peaks we got to go to. Ow. And then way over there, uh, one of those is going to be Pilot Knob. Um, I think that's like another six miles that way. I think I might try that one tomorrow. We'll see. Um, that one over there is another one, but I ain't going up that. That's like four wheel drive with donkeys. Uh, no thanks. Maybe Steve and his goats can do it. Anyways, I'm gonna set up, uh, set up camp here. All right, uh, seven something now, right? 24. What? Oh, we're waiting on Kevin. Again. Again. <laughs> Son Riley. I didn't do this yesterday. Adam K6ARK. We got Tim K6TW. We got Jeff AA6XA. Right, so a bunch of soda gods over here. And then uh, soda semi rookies. And a new guy. A pack mule. The only one we got. So let's go. Let's do it. We're going to follow Adam. We're going to try to follow Adam. We're gonna follow you, that's for sure. Don't know how far behind, we'll be behind you. <laughs> You'll be with me. <laughs> so it begins. I think it's that one. Not that one, that one. It was about five miles as the crow flies at him. Going down the hill. three liters up for a couple of extra people. There's a, there's a pilot knob over there. Pretty vertical. I only got a one liter bottle with me, so we'll see how we do it. over here try to gain some elevation slowly that saddle and then freaking vertical we shall see what was that <laughs> all right taking a little lunch break down here because I'm gassed out so these guys are being nice but uh, the peak right there behind Adam and uh, probably scrambling with hands and feet a nice little valley. What's this? Uh, what are these lakes down here, Adam? We know. Uh, this is called French Canyon. French Canyon. Um, and uh, I think Elba Lake, um, Puppet Lake is kind of the big kidney-shaped one up there, sort of. Uh -huh. um, the big peak up here with snow. That one. Us, that's Marion. Marion Peak. That's a soda peak, huh? You've activated that, right? I have activated that one. Freaking machine. Then, Adam just volunteered to carry all of our stuff, by the way. Freaking crazy, man. Not all of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't, well, yeah, you can see the coal a lot better. It almost looks totally different now. Oh, yeah. The coal they went up yesterday was where that snowbank is and over there. We're 
I don't know, six miles that way or so. We're uh, about to make the ascent up to uh, Pilot Knob. Kevin and I, uh, we uh, we dumped some gear. What do we call it? Lifted our spirits by dumping our gear? Pile of doubt, that's it. So there's probably about 15 pounds right there. I don't know about Kevin, probably about the same maybe, but let's go do this now. Now that we, now that I'm just carrying a water bottle and a GoPro. <laughs> I don't think uh, you can actually see the steepness of this hill in the video. Um, so obviously <laughs> it's straight down, pretty good. And then you can see Adam up there. I'm pointing this thing at the sky. There's Adam and Kevin. The summit's like right over there. So we're a couple hundred feet from the summit. Um, we're at elevation. So it's a ball buster. And uh, I'm glad we dumped some weight out of the pack. Because uh, I don't know that I could do it with all that weight, to be honest with you. This is freaking hard at elevation, kicking my ass. All right, let's get up this thing. I gotta put it away. I need both hands to scramble up these rocks. I didn't bring gloves. None of us did. But, uh, gotta do it. I thought you was, I saw it. You looked at uh, no, Whiskey okay. six, Romeo India, Papa. Just find a clear one. I'll spot you. The guy has no ears. Yeah. Hey, juice. We gotta go to a... a, a CQ, CQ, summit's on the air. All right, we all made it to the top of Pilot Knob. Kevin's going first on the KX2 on 20 meters. And he's the regional manager for the area. CQ, 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 he gets first activation. CQ, 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 summit's on We got enough air. activators uh, to do this even if we can't get anybody on HF for whatever weird reason. But, uh, you know. Did you already get some? I forgot the mode. I got the two VHF contacts. Jeff got two. <laughs> Right on. I'm going to CW soon. So, okay. uh, we're, we're getting everything kind of dialed in right now, and then I'm sure we'll be rocking and rolling and going. I think uh trying to get a spot out right now. Uh, what are you using, Adam? Your inReach? Uh, uh, yeah, Garmin inReach. So he's using his Garmin inReach up there and uh, trying to hook a brother up. So that's where we're at. CQ, CQ, CQ. Summit's on the air. All right, we know we got a spot out now. KX2 set right finally. Let's see what happens. CQ, 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 Whiskey 6. RIP calling CQ, CQ, Summit's on the air. Can you huh? Talk? I can hear it. I hear oh, the PTT. coming through. On the if monitor. You... People ask for some CW on my channel. There you go. But it's from uh, Jeff. <laughs> Alpha Alpha 6 X ray Alpha. He's hammering away. I'm sure Adam's going to show us what's up. Kevin, did you have a soda fail? What do you call well, it? Well, I got two contacts. But yeah, the, you did? This isn't working on, C, on single side bin. Two contacts with the VHF, hear. you mean? VHF. Oh, yeah, me and Adam. That's it. <laughs> I don't care if that's how I get up this mountain, but that's how I'm getting up this mountain. Mm -hmm. We'll make it work. So, we got a, a triathlete down there eating. I don't know how many packs on the team. East Carolina. <laughs> Awesome. I don't want to that spot. So, Nobody called. That's a little Garmin in reach thing as long as Kevin spots on the oh, there we go. We'll try to get after you guys are doing one more time. See the power's going up now. Now you see the 10 watts going out. So it's changed over on this mode. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the plan. Jeff, Tim, and Adam uh, made the activation right on a CW. And Adam yeah, even had to struggle a little bit on 40. So what we're gonna do Adam. now is uh, in the interest of time and space, uh, we brought enough people to activate this anyway. So I didn't even activate from here yet. They're gonna drop down. I'm just gonna get them out of the activation zone on VHF and call it good. It's all legit. I told you about that. Uh, we've done it before in Washington with this guy. It's a legit way to do it. Sometimes it can be feel like he's cheating, but it's not. Um, so it's all good. So that's what's gonna happen now. We're gonna watch Kevin bang out a few, and I'm gonna knock out a few, and then we're gonna get out of here. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, K6ARK, KG6HQD, 5-9 up here, brother. Thanks, Jerry. You're 5-9 down here, just outside of AZ. Thanks for the contact. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You guys all down out of it now? We are. We're all together down here, so uh, feel free to call the others. All right, A6XA, KG6HQD. Uh, this is A6X8, you're 5x9, Jerry. Roger, same up here, 5x9. K6 
K6TW, KG6HQD59. Ditto. Thank you. K6TW. Roger, roger. So now I have three, now I just gotta wait for Kevin to go down. <laughs> Switch it around. Switch it around. Alright, so now Kevin's going. Are you recording or no? Yeah, you are, okay. W6RIP, 5959. YouTubers helping each other out. Yeah, thank you. RP, your 5959, over. Okay. Roger, roger. Thank you, gentlemen, for the activation. Pilot knob. <laughs> Y'all in a minute. Roger, roger. I'm going to pack up, head down, and uh, get Jerry. Well, how are you going to get me? Are you going to use your FT2D? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is hands down. I'm the last man on the peak right now for our group. They're all going down because, like I said just a second ago, uh, all four of them were my contacts for the activation, and then three of them I was their contact. Um, but anyways, uh, I think I activated all four of them down there too. I don't know. Anyways, it's on the log. But you know, uh, this is the hardest peak I've done. Uh, kind of sketchy, man. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I was just telling Kevin that like he's heading down that uh, this is the hardest one I've done. Boulder hopping and using your hands. I mean, gloves have been perfect. I didn't have them. Uh, definitely taxed and pushed my limits. Uh, I say so does for everybody. Um, this one taxed my physical limitations. It taxed my mental. Uh, got in my head a couple of times. I had to just kind of talk myself through this and stay calm and take good roots and just kind of go at my own pace. Even though Adam and Jeff and Tim are they're mountain goats for sure already and they, they do this on a regular basis, they were like flying up the hill. But Adam stayed back. He stayed with me. It was kind of the buddy system. So it's kind of a cool thing, man, kind of here with uh, this many other activators and activating an unactivated peak. And I can't even tell you what it looks like up here because, I mean, I'm looking like straight down on both all sides. It's like a Razorback. It makes Devil's Backbone going up to uh, Mount San Antonio look stupid. This is, this is insane. This is sick. No way could I bring my dog up here. I'm glad I didn't bring her. I wish I could have, but I'm glad I didn't. Uh, but, you know, as you start processing these different trails, you start thinking about trails you like, don't like. This place is absolutely beautiful. The water availability is awesome. Um, haven't seen much in the way of wildlife. I was kind of disappointed on that, um, other than the pack trains coming up. But uh, it's a unique area for sure. And it just kind of is prehistoric in its own way. And when you look out over these, uh, these ridge lines, you think about the glaciers that carved all this up in here and all the water from all the snow that's been melting and how deep the snow gets in here. It's kind of insane. So just kind of want to leave you with that thought. I'm looking at waterfalls. I mean, this is California. I don't get to see waterfalls and stuff like that. I'm looking at waterfalls. I'm looking at peaks that even blow this one away. I'm kind of in awe, you know, I'm really kind of, kind of in awe. So after I get my contact with Kevin, uh, probably the last one for this video, I'm going to uh, call it good unless something funny happens at camp later on. You never know. But uh, this has been a heck of a weekend. One 10 point peak for me, one 10 point peak for all of us, actually. Uh, they tried Gothi the other day and uh, they had to call the activation because they couldn't get up to it in a safe amount of time. So, uh, this definitely, you know your limits when you come out here, the better. Or else uh, Mother Nature will teach you a lesson or two. So, alright, wait for the next clip for Kevin. Alright, there's Kevin calling me. Plug him in. W6RAPKG6HQD for the final contact. Roger, roger, you're 5959. By nine both ways, man. Thanks again, brother. Always good activating with you, and it feels good to get this one done uh, as hard of work as it was. So, all right, packing up, I'll be down to one. KG6 HQD clear. Party time. Woohoo! Whiskey. Here we go. Next day. All right, guys. Shutting it down. See you in a bit. All right, it's the final day. We're all wrapping up. Been around pretty fast. Picking up camp. Beautiful morning. Uh, I'm gonna do a probably like a an after action type video on this trail and this whole journey because, uh, like I said, there's some things that I learned along the way. Things I want to share with you. But uh, it's been a great trip. Eat some breakfast, have some coffee, and uh, pack it on out. But uh, man, look at this. We had some awesome weather. We're definitely blessed this whole weekend trip.